Hello everybody, welcome back to We the Revolution Part 3. Uh, in the last installment, we had seen the, uh, King of France. We first saw him, his introduction. I think this is sort of gonna detail his end a little bit here. But, uh, let us continue. New button? Uh, it's Act 1, Day 3. Let us go to the day, and we shall judge more judgments as judge of revolution. Oh, this is where we left off, yeah. Mm. Just enjoying a nice glass of water. So, uh, welcome, Citizen Fidel. My name is Quentin Foria de Tinville, a uh, public prosecutor that has been assigned to assist at the, every tribunal starting from today. Uh, I should warn you that I am uncompromising, although I hope that we quickly find common ground in happier news. The construction of the guillotine has been finished, and we may begin using it today. So I'm guessing, um, this guy, wait, the king is gone, treason, anyone with him from, oh yeah, Robespierre. But I think that guy that's just been introduced, perhaps he's a revolutionary. I think that might be his, uh, his, his, uh, his persuasion politically, let's say. Yeah. All right, so I think in general, I'm just not going to read every single thing. I'm going to skim through these because these are freaking long and it takes up a lot of time. So, uh. Lucien Blanchot, uh, Citizen Blanchot owns several grocery stalls, uh, received multiple complaints regarding his unfair trading practices, selling spoiled fruit, price speculation, and the violation of legal price limits. Uh, he's denied all accusations, of course, uh, but my investigation at his stalls revealed at least some of the complaints to be justified. He claimed that the prices were inflated due to employee mistakes. And that spoiled produce was about to be disposed of on the day of the inspection. Uh, must be noticed that when inspectors point out his transgressions, uh, Blanchot scolded his employees and readily set about restoring order at his stall. Oh, okay. A uh, young merchant, a uh, supporter of the Jacobins, uh, connections with Marat and Robespierre, Robespierre, or so he has claimed. So far, he has managed to get away with all his shady dealings, so there may be some truth to his boasting. All right. Witness 1. He sold me rotten apples. He put some fresh ones on top so that I wouldn't notice. Uh, my husband couldn't stop retching for two days after eating celery he bought from this swindler. Okay, so he is connected politically to, rubs, to uh, revolutionary sort of, I guess, politics or whatever. Perhaps. That's his claim anyway. Uh, so the defender's connection. Let's see. Poisoning customers is an accusation. Customer complaints is evidence. Uh, Counter-revolution is connections. Oh, no, it isn't. No. Uh, rotten apples is the evidence. What the fuck? Okay, this is... Alright. Uh, employee mistakes... Fender's personality. I'm guessing his connections are his personality? Yeah. Okay. Uh, legal price limits is... No. Uh, is it counter-revolution? Employee mistakes and customer... So customer complaints are the accusation. Employee mistakes are... extenuating circumstances. I did actually, by the way, look up what ex extenuating circumstances means, so I, I kind of know a little bit what that actually refers to now. Uh, I'm a bit of an idiot sometimes. Okay, uh, legal price limits are evidence. And they're also counter-revolution. Okay. So I did kind of fuck up there. Okay, so let me ask you questions, sir. Please introduce yourself. Lucien Blanchot, occupation, he's a merchant. And also a temporary prisoner. Makes sense. Uh, you stand accused of price speculation, breaking legal price limits, and selling produce unfit for consumption. Uh, I asked the court to deliberate poisoning of Parisian citizens to that list of charges. Poisoning, state vegetables never killed anyone. Stale vegetables. So you admit to the other charges. I'm an honest entrepreneur and my business will not be harmed by such allegations. So he says, stale 
fruit, stale produce, never killed anyone. But he's being accused of selling stale produce. Alrighty then. Okay, so uh, the common folk want him dead. The revolutionaries want him acquitted. So, um... Let's see. We have analyzed your le I just want to see something quickly. Uh, my notebook. I am medium opinion with the revolutionaries and high with the common folk. The revolutionary endorsement influence reputation. Okay. The revolutionary tribunal is widely seen as a revolution's ally. Your son's drawing. Poor Papa. Bernard. I didn't know you could do that. Okay. Uh, friends and family. Okay, so I didn't notice these things were here. Okay, let's get out of this. Alright, question time. Good sir. Questions. Alright, do you admit to selling spoiled produce? That is a good question. That has already been established by the inspectors. There is no need to go over the matter again. Answer the damn question! Yes and no. Yes, because I admit that such things have been reported at my stalls. No, because it was not my fault. Whose fault was it then? I cannot be held accountable for nature, not creating all apples equal. Apples are not citizens of France. But you are the owner of this business, and you can be held accountable for the produce that you sell. I never forced anyone to buy anything from me. Their customers constantly purchase spoiled food. Uh, they will buy carrots as black as coal if you lower the price by a few francs. Uh, okay. He's insulting the people. Throw the scoundrel in chains. Oh. Oh, you poor bastard. Poor, poor fool. Okay, uh, we've analyzed your ledgers and discovered that you have been violating legal price limits on a regular basis. Uh, it seems your employees are rather prone to making mistakes. Uh, with regard to the violation of legal price limit. Uh, did you know, I guess, did your customer, were you really sick? Did you know that your produce made your customers sick? That is the sentence I'm trying to say. <laughs> okay. Uh, if anyone could prove that my produce was at fault, I will gladly cover the cost of their treatment or their funeral. They need only come forward. Ah, uh, true. Try eating it yourself. That witness testimonies will be taken into account. It was selling people shit, not food. <laughs> okay. A uh, testimonies of jaundiced people will, who will do anything to hamper a wealthier man's work. Worthy evidence indeed. Okay, so they want him in prison so far. Um, we have analyzed your ledgers and, uh, with regard to the violation of legal price limits. Uh, let me make one thing clear. Legal price limits were never deliberately broken at my stalls. I find such accusations to be malicious and vile. Uh, you only corrected the prices upon the arrival of the inspectors. He deserves to rot in prison. Uh, imposed a substantial fine on me that I paid without delay. I've already suffered the consequences of my negligence. Uh, we've analyzed your ledgers and discovered that you've been violating on a regular basis. Last that. Deny this accusation as well. Uh, ledgers are kept by ordinary people who are prone to making mistakes. I will analyze them again and make proper amends. Uh, you are not an administration office citizen, but show these are ledgers in their current state are evidence for the court. Uh, those are mere accounting errors. Uh, zero decimal put in the wrong place by mistake. I'll be explained. We're not all friends to France here. Citizen Robespierre has assured me that we are. Get, that you could get away with falsifying records? Of course not. So why did you mention him? I owe... Okay. Let's see. Uh, could you explain... Why there have been so many complaints about your business over the years. Maybe it's because most of those complaints have nothing that but nonsensical claims from jealous loafers. Are you so convinced that Marat and Robespierre will protect you? I am convinced that the law will protect me. Justice on my side. Uh, supposed to protect the innocent. It should be on the side of those who are wronged by. Uh, spare us the speech. This is not a session of the National Convention. Uh... Forgive me, my soul cries out for justice, so the statesman you mentioned 
Barat and Robespier will not have to deliver justice on my behalf. And I guess we'll just... I think this guy's gonna die, uh, to be honest. Uh, it seems your employers are rather prone to make a mistake. Uh, there's no one in Paris uh, competent enough. Do you think so low of your fellow citizens? Most people are adults. The very fact that I must defend myself in court attests to that. Uh, I own a chain of grocery stalls, not a parish school for the dim-witted. Uh, jury's opinion, prison. So I think what I'm going to do is send this man to prison. Because that is the opinion on the jury. Death penalty is a little too strong. Acquittal, not good enough. Actually, what's acquittal? What does acquittal do? Acquittal is going to raise my opinion of... Uh, the verdict's consequences were determined based on faction relations. Okay, so I'll get more opinion with the re with the revolutionaries. If I do that, I'm going to get less opinion with the revolutionaries. Hmm. I think I'm going to go with the common people. Actually, you know what? Uh, yeah, I think I'll do the common people. And the next one, if it influences by the revolutionaries and it brings it up, I'll go with that one. So we're going to go with prison for this one. Fidel. Uh, review the trial's records. Uh, do you make spelling? Okay. Was this act counter-revolutionary in nature? How does the defendant explain his disregard for legal price limits? Was the defense added to, um, was his act counter-revolutionary? Um, no, I wouldn't say so. I think it's just regular, sort of, you know, trying to scam people. Uh, Linker would pay, he bribed the official to evade the ticket, paid immediately. What was this, uh, posed a substantial fine on me and I paid without delay. So he paid immediately. And how does the defendant explain his disregard? Uh, he explains it as a written mistake. Gets a judge's signature. Fidel. Prison, lead the condemn out. Let's say how fresh she stays behind bars. I have friends in high places. I will be set free in a matter of days. You, on the other hand. Ooh. Was it at counter rect? No. Oh. I guess he was uh, counter-revolutionary then. Okay. I don't really understand how selling bad fruit would make you a counter-revolutionary, but this is the French Revolution. So, I guess we'll just have to... Uh, We'll have to live with our decision. Uh, due to the establishment of a revolutionary tribunal, we need to prepare an official stamp. I was told to ask you, citizen, because President Devoyer is indisp uh, indisposed. How much did he drink? Uh, he was not able to say, shall we? Oh, I get to design my stamp. Oh, cool. You know, actually, I'm going to make that, and then the top here, we're going to make that. So that kind of matches together, right? I don't know. I like that. I like that one. I think that's cool. So we're going to sign that, and that'll be our stamp. Our official stamp of Alexis Fidel, Judge of France. Uh, thank you for your time. I know it's late. The stamp should be ready by tomorrow. Good night. Au revoir. Bon ami. I think bon ami. Is that my friend? I don't know. Okay, you have to choose an action to see its description. Uh, work on tomorrow's trial. Political debate. Uh, and get more relations with uh, influence on revolutionaries. Influence on family relations. Influence on reputation. Influence on the people. 
Um, can I get a demonstration? And that'll actually, because the thing is, um, in this game, you want to have good relations with your son, Frederick, because he improves the relations with everyone here. It's uh, influence on family relations. So to get that will help with everyone else. And I think I'm going to do that. Take your sons to a pro-revolution demonstration. Let them see real life up close. Yes, I will. I know I'm going to suffer a bit with the uh, the wife and dad, but the, the sons are important, especially uh, Frederick. So that is what I want to do. Re increase that greatly. Act 1, Liberté. Day 4. Alrighty then. Mathieu Burel. Uh, tragically, we are losing control of the streets. Uh, people feel betrayed by the king, and some believe him to be a spy trying to elude justice. Uh, special means are recommended when suppressing unrest. We only need an option, an opinion from the judges to make sure we are working legally. Kind of looks like Napoleon. I don't know, he's kind of got the... Maybe if he got rid of, like, the sideburns, or the, the kind of the flow in the back, you know, the mullet. The little, you know, business in the front, party in the back going on there. Just get a little bit of a haircut. Uh, in other words, you need their blessing to shoot at protesters. People can't control their emotions and are hurting other citizens as a result. Look at the windows. Next time they might do something worse than just throw rocks. Uh, it pains us to see the unrest growing in the streets of Paris. Uh, Burel has informed us that the guard is no longer able to control the situation through peaceful means. We've been allowed to use more immediate methods to protect the innocent civilians. But we would like to throw the tri know the tribunal's opinion on the matter. Uh, I approve of the National Guard's use of force against ruffians ruining the capital. Uh. Yeah, sure, what the hell. Uh, the Guard is tasked with protecting innocents from those who are unable to control their behavior. I approve of the greater freedom to use of the National Guard. Yes. We shall use the National Guard. And the signature. Oh, that's a cool little animation. I like that. Let's hope it's not too late to stop this man. Uh, that's an interesting, interesting euphemism for musket fire. Oh, I guess that guy, I guess he didn't like that much at all. Uh, the mob wanted to act as both judge and jury again and hang people from the street lamps. Poor Pochard was almost hanged. Well, yeah, that's why then we need to put in the, we need to put in the National Guard. Like, simple. Uh, Pochard, Claude Pochard. Yes, the beloved tutor of your Frederick. You had to dismiss him after the incident with the oath of the clergy, did you not? Uh, Frederick tells me that from time to time that he misses his teacher. Oh, that's sad. The trial's about to begin. About Monsieur Pichard. News travels fast. He's been accused of counter-revolution activities. You know him. It can't be true. It's not so simple. Leave before somebody hears us. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry, buddy. Think about the family, for once at least. 